I was alone at home. I was down with the fever. I went to the doctor and he tested uh, my blood sugar level. I was actually diagnosed with diabetes complications, retinopathy and neuropathy. I felt overwhelmed when I first learned about it. I didn't know what to do. And then I think I went into denial about it and I really wasn't thinking much about it. But then I think as time passed, a few years into having it, I realized I had to pay more attention to it and started to do so. I know there's issues, you know, with eyesight, you can lose your sight, you can, you know, foot problems. No le, en realidad, no, no le tomé mucha importancia a la enfermedad. Entonces, estos son ahora los resultados. Living with diabetic complications has changed my life altogether, which is not an easy. I am always in a fear to travel alone. We see this big rise in the number of people living with diabetes, particularly young type 2, where there are uh, multi-morbidity, so many of those people are living with obesity. Many of them have complications now that we wouldn't have seen perhaps 10 years ago. Por supuesto que sí, eh, los pacientes con diabetes cada día van aumentando, cada día se diagnostican muchos más pacientes y eh, vienen ya con complicaciones, principalmente con complicaciones cardiovasculares y con nefropatía diabética. At the time of diagnosis, I was not made aware of any complications arising out of this uh, diabetes. I think for healthcare providers, there's too much to talk about. And so when you see a healthcare provider, they're really monitoring your numbers. I do receive information related to diabetes complication from my healthcare provider, but I wouldn't say it's regular. Because not every time we want to see the doctor, that the doctor is available. I think it's really important that as healthcare professionals, we really help people understand the risk related to diabetes. And you need to be very proactive right from diagnosis to explain to people what the risk of complications are and to put in interventions really early. I think what it is about dealing with this disease is that it takes a lot of support. The people who support you, who you can talk to, who you can learn from, this is peer-oriented, really makes a huge difference. The advice I have for other people living with diabetes that has complication is that prevention is actually better than cure. Yo le diría que se cuide que no le vaya a pasar lo que a mí me pasó. Considero que el apoyo que yo les doy a mis pacientes desde el inicio es la educación. Los recursos son limitados, ya que no contamos con una guía específica para poder brindarle a los pacientes y que ellos puedan tener conocimiento específico sobre todas las complicaciones que trae la diabetes. I think for me, I'd put on a lot of weight. So I think just being able to lose a lot of weight has just given me that energy back so I can keep up with my young kids. My personal advice to everybody is to take care of your kidney health, eye health, then foot health, and cardio health, which may arise out of the diabetic complications.